Welcome to this edition of Backstage Pass with Leah Chang. I'm your host, Leah Chang. Susan Murakoshi and I traveled from Moynihan Train Hall in New York to Union Station in Washington, D.C. on Amtrak to see Lauren Yee's Cambodian rock band. After a short taxi ride to our boutique hotel, Yours Truly, D.C., Susan found a restaurant called Tiki Taco within walking distance of the hotel. I had a Kailua pork burrito, and Susan had the blackened salmon and island fish tacos. Cambodian rock band is must-see theater, and it was wonderful to reunite with many of the cast members at Arena Stage, who are from the original Signature Theater production in 2020, as well as subsequent runs at the Alley Theater and Berkeley Repertory Theater earlier in 2023. The cast includes Kelsey Angel Behrens, Brooke Ishibashi, Francis Jew, Abraham Kim, Tim Liu, Jane Lui, Alex Lydon, Joe No, and V. Tron. Arena Stage, in association with Alley Theater, Berkeley Repertory Theater, and ACT Theater Fifth Avenue, is presenting the signature theater production of Cambodian Rock Band. Written by Lauren Yi, featuring songs by Dengue Fever, and directed by Che Yu, Cambodian Rock Band has performances through August 27th in the Krieger Theater at Arena Stage at the Mead Center for American Theater in Washington, D.C. Cambodian Rock Band tells the story of a Khmer Rouge survivor, Chum, returning to Cambodia for the first time in 30 years as his daughter, Niri, prepares to prosecute one of Cambodia's most infamous war criminals. Backed by a live band playing contemporary Dengue Fever hits and classic Cambodian oldies, this darkly funny play is equal parts comedy, history, and rock concert as family secrets are revealed against a dark chapter of Cambodian history. The next stop on the tour is the ACT Theater, Fifth Avenue Theater co-production in Seattle beginning September 29th. Welcome to this edition of Backstage Pass with Leah Chang. 
I'm your host, Leah Chang. Today, I'm at People's Light in Melbourne, Pennsylvania for the opening night performance of Sam Shepard's True West. Susan and I traveled to People's Light in Melbourne, Pennsylvania for the opening performance of Sam Shepard's True West, directed by Mayan Tao. True West is a wry exploration of duality, masculinity, and the mythos of the American West reimagined by a critically acclaimed all-Asian American cast, starring Sanjeet De Silva, Ron Domingo, Ching Valdez Aran, and Greg Watanabe. The creative team includes scenic designer Yushin Chen, costume designer Sarah Young Clement, lighting designer Wenling Liao, sound designer Hao Bai, projection designer Jeanette Yu, and dialect coach Stephen Eng. Success. On the other hand, you're often told you should be chasing something that really matters. You should be chasing your soul. You should be chasing a better world. Um, 
And I think for many of us, what we care most about is whether we chase a really good question and whether we ask something really well that a lot of people might have very different thoughts about what their answers are to that question. But if we ask it well enough, the molecules stir in our brains and we start thinking about who do we want to be in this world and how do we chase within ourselves some greater meaning and value and purpose and sense of what actual maybe glory is, which is community and care and love and family and stories that bring us together. Part of this chase really started with Sanja. Who, before the pandemic, after a production of Hurricane Diane, which for those of you, I hope you all get to see next spring here at People's Day. <laughs> I think some form of the question was, what is on your bucket list? What is a passion play? What is something you really are interested in dig digging your teeth into? And Sanja said, True West. And maybe within a half a minute, what I was hearing were these amazing questions that you were asking. Uh, about what it would mean to do it with an entirely API cast, what it would mean to be doing it today, the questions about what it means to be an American, what it means to what it would be it, the mythology of our country and who gets to be part of it, uh, a question about brothers, a question about screenwriting, a question about the demons inside of us, and to the degree in which that we are all kind of at war with ourselves at some time, how that war gets exposed. And I was so stunned, thrilled by some of those questions that I think my instant answer was, yes, when, how, how do we do it? It was. It was. <laughs> but that chase, of course, got interrupted. We didn't run out of gas. <laughs> we did run out of you know, health in a world and other things. And so we had to go through various pastures, and we kind of got on a horse. And we kind of like travel in some different directions. Uh, and then that horse got tired, and we kind of figure out if there was a car that we found that we could put like somewhere around the way. You're going to take this all the way. I'm going to take it all the way. Uh, but what's amazing is along the way came these extraordinary people who you saw on stage, who you saw the work of on stage, but you didn't get to see personally on stage, who you got to see the work of on stage from booths, from behind booths, from offices, from shops from all the parts of this campus and other parts um, to tell a story uh, that, that uh, really, my hope is, I think our hope is, is uh, stirs the crickets in your heart <laughs> so that you really keep asking yourselves a lot of important questions. So I want to thank Sanjit and Mayan, this extraordinary design team, production team, crew, our stage manager, our dramaturg, everyone who you're seeing and many more who you can't see, um, for all you have done to make True West as truthful and as authentic and as loving and compassionate and powerful as you have. Thank you, yeah. True West. Yeah. Zach brought me to People's Light uh, to do Cherry Orchard here, and then uh, Diva Parohit, my wife and I, were part of the New Play Frontiers, and we came to research this area and write our play Crushed Earth, and we have fallen in love with this theater company, with this community. You all are so special, and the fact that Zach didn't blink when I said I wanted to do an API <laughs> cast of True West uh, means uh, that he trusts the people in this community, his audience members, uh, the people who work here, and I'm so, so grateful for everyone who came on this ride, on the stage, behind the stage, this theater, the employees, the people who come here supported, who came today to see it. Thank you, this is how we build community, this is how we come together. So thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.
Welcome to this edition of Backstage Pass with Leah Chang. On today's episode, I'll be taking you inside Eva Nobozada's last night as Eurydice as she ends her five-year run on Broadway in Town. Original Town cast member Eva Nobozada played her final performance as Eurydice on August 13th. Eva began playing the role in 2018 at London's National Theatre before transferring with the production to Broadway in 2019. Original Broadway cast members Andre de Shields, Amber Gray, and Patrick Page returned to the Walter Kerr Theatre and gave speeches, as well as Reeve Carden, who stars as Orpheus. smile. You make me laugh. 
And when you sing flowers, you make me cry. <laughs> only thing you made me is proud. Yeah. Ah. But I think we should just take a moment and look at this. Look at these people that came here because they knew they would experience something extraordinary this afternoon. <laughs> something magical, something that only, only you could deliver. My uh, parents' generation would sort of brag about having seen Lee J. Cobb in Death of a Salesman or Laura Taylor in Glass Menagerie or Basil Merman in Gypsy. And 20, 30 years from now, we all get to brag, or tomorrow, or tonight. <laughs> tonight! That we actually were in the room and we saw Eva Nobozada play Eurydice. Yeah! describes how elated and how blessed I feel to be on the stage with people that have changed my life. Even if you've been in it for 30 minutes, you're in it now. You're not gonna get rid of me now, bitch! <laughs> I wanna first uh, thank you all for, for being here tonight and for supporting this beautiful show that Aeneas and Rachel and David and so many beautiful people have worked so hard for it to be where it is today. And also, of course, the cast and the company and the crew and the beautiful Walter Kerr, what a magical, perfect theater to, for this theater to be in. And I cannot believe that I can say that I worked here. Um, and I cannot, I can't even look at him. I, I can't, of course, I'm not, you know, finish the speech without thanking um, the love of my life. <laughs> without the truth and the love of your Orpheus. And the fact that we've gone through so many iterations of this and so many tough days of wondering what the hell are we doing? <laughs> there was the day I came out with a costume and Reeve looked at me and said, oh, you look like a boo. <laughs> by the fact that we have the rest of our lives uh, together. So. Thank you all. I can't take, thank you enough for, for being here. My family's here. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for giving birth to me. Stay safe, and know that Katie's son will always be here for you.
Thank you for joining me for this edition of Backstage Pass with Leah Chang. Until next time.